Believe it or not, footballers are some of the most superstitious people you will ever meet. Yes, they do work extremely hard to keep themselves in shape and in top form, but many of them still rely on an extra bit of luck to help them perform optimally. Now, many of these things they do may not really make sense to you, but if they have continued to do them for some time, surely they believe it works for them. And if they do, who are we to question it? In this video, we will be giving you five crazy superstitious rituals performed by footballers. For more crazy football stories like this one, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you never miss an upload. Number one, John Terry and the urinals. John Terry, who played for Chelsea between 1995 and 2017, is one of the club's most successful players of all time. He won a lot of trophies with the club and even led them to their first UEFA Champions League success in 2012. Of course, he was a very hardworking player during his playing days, but the Englishman admitted that he had a bit of luck in his days at Chelsea. In an interview in 2016, John talked about a ritual that he pretty much inadvertently started in the Chelsea dressing room. Apparently, there are three urinals in the club's locker room, but on one fateful day, he and Frank Lampard, his teammate at Chelsea, used the same urinal before the game. Chelsea went on to win that game. So in the next game, he and Frank returned to that same urinal. This time, Ashley Cole, another Englishman, joined them and queued up to use that urinal again. The next week, one more person joined the queue to use that urinal, and before he knew it, it had already become a thing. More players, including Cesc Fabregas and Chelsea's current captain, Cesar Azpilicueta, joined in the ritual. Of course, when pretty much the entire team started queuing up to use only one urinal, it always caused Chelsea players to come out late for games. But when Terry was confronted about this as team captain, how was he to explain this crazy ritual to the English FA? LOL, he just evaded the question. Number two, the France squad and Barthez's head. France's 1998 squad was indeed a super team. They were dubbed France's golden generation at the time, and they had a perfect blend of youthful energy and experienced shrewdness. But even a team as complete as that used to rely on a bit of superstitious luck to win them games. It started with Laurent Blanc. Before every game, he would look for Fabien Barthez, France's goalkeeper at the time, and kiss his head, which was always cleanly shaved. In no time, other members of the squad joined in in the ritual and would kiss Fabian's head before every game. Perhaps the former goalkeeper holds the record for the person whose head has received the most kisses in history. And you could say that those kisses to the head did not work. But remember that the team went on to win the World Cup in front of their own fans that year. So, well... Number three, Johan Cruyff and his gum. Johan Cruyff is one of the greatest players to have ever graced the sport. He was a pioneer in many respects and was as skillful as they come. But the three-time Balloon d'Or winner did not only rely on his skill and hard work on the pitch to win games, he also had a little ritual of his own that he never failed to do before any game during his time at Ajax. First, he would slap Gerrit Balls, the team's goalkeeper at the time, on the belly. After that, he would go and spit his chewing gum on the opposition's half of the pitch. We're not saying this ritual was why he won so much with Ajax, but well, the one time he forgot to chew his gum before a game, and therefore could not complete the ritual, his team lost. And that was the European Cup Final of 1969. Ajax lost that game 4-1 to AC Milan, with Milan's Prati scoring a hat trick. It may seem crazy to you, but surely, Johan must have felt like if he had remembered to chew his gum and spit it in Milan's half of the pitch, he and his teammates would have been champions of Europe that year. Number four, Malvin Kamara and his favorite movie. Now it is very normal for people to have a movie they love so much and can watch over and over again. But how many people can really watch a movie longer than an hour every time they clock in at work? Well, Malvin Kamara could 
and he did. Malvin has said in a couple of interviews that Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, which was directed by Mel Stewart, is his favorite movie of all time and has been since he was just a boy. Kamara would watch the movie before every game because, according to him, it calms him and gives him luck. The movie runs for 89 minutes, but the London-born footballer did not care. It always got him in the right mood for games. Number 5. France and Adil Rami's Beard Les Bleus might just be one of the most superstitious football teams in the world. 20 years after their ritual of kissing Barthas's head helped them win the World Cup, they developed another one. In the 2018 World Cup, the French players would stroke the mustache and beard of Adil Rami, a member of the squad, before each game. And well, just like they did in 1998, the French team went on to win the tournament again. Perhaps they need to come up with another ritual before the 2022 World Cup, especially after their horrible showing at Euro 2020. Honorable mention! Now, this is not exactly a ritual, as it was not done regularly but we felt it was crazy enough to make this list. Former Liverpool and Zimbabwe goalkeeper Bruce Goblar claimed that in a testimonial game in 1992, a curse was placed on Liverpool by a witch doctor. They were not going to win the Premier League title unless he peed on both posts at Anfield. In 2014, after all those years, Bruce was determined to break that curse and bring the league title back to Anfield. He managed to pee at the cop end post, but he was found out and thrown out. That year, Liverpool came close to winning the title, but ended up in second. You remembered the Gerrard slip, don't you? Anyway, fast forward to 2020. Bruce was at Anfield again for a corporate game. This time, he peed in a bottle and was ready to break the curse. In the first half, he splashed some of the urine at the cop end post, and in the second half, Anfield Road end post. He was so confident that his ritual worked that even before Liverpool were sure to be champions, he came out and said in an interview that the Reds would win the league, and it was thanks to him for breaking the curse. As you know, Liverpool went on to win the league that year for the first time in three whole decades. So good luck convincing the former goalkeeper that superstitions like this are not real or do not work. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to slap a like on it. Also subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of our awesome content. Catch you in the next video. Bye-bye!